Hi, thank you for tuning in. In this recording, I'm just going to do a really quick recap or review of something. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the last video, but I'm just being reminded of it right now, is leaving the old behind and letting go of you know, toxic behavior patterns, thought forms, and energies that just no longer serve us. And this could be from people, places, things, um, thought forms, thought patterns, um, just the way of, of um, old energies uh, and how that feels, you know, the old way of thinking of being backstabbed or the victim mentality. Um, so all of these are old energies that are being la asked for us to leave behind. And just like the leaves fall, you know, we can learn a lot from the seasons and how things go. And when the leaves fall off, it, it is a beautiful way and interpretation for us to see how the, the leaves turn colors, right? They see things, they start to change, and then they fall off. They let it go. They let go of the old leaves so new ones can come. But in that phase, there is an incubation phase. There is a phase where we have to integrate, you know, some of the lessons that we've been learned. And when we are being asked for this unfolding, the letting go of the old people, places, and things, we're going to let go of this and with love, of course. We don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. We don't want to... Um, we want to make sure everybody has everyone's best interest in mind when we're being asked to let go of things. That, like I said, this is people, places, everything. And when the subject comes up, we want to take it to the matter of the heart. And, um, you know, I, I do feel a lot of people are in this place where it's like, oh, okay, that teacher or this person no longer resonates with me. And that this, like I said, could be anywhere from work, from a relationship, from a teacher student dynamic, from a place that you go to frequently and you know, need to just, okay, I'm kind of done with that place. We're going to stay away from that energy. And it's just an old energy that you no longer resonate with. And that's all it simply is. There doesn't have to be any judgment. There doesn't have to be any drama about it or trying to figure it out, this and that, this and that. It's just, hey, it's, it's done. It's played its course. And we're done with that, you know. <clears throat> and... You know, if it is a relationship and you have to completely shut the door on that, okay, do it with love. Or if it's a relationship and you're wanting to step into new energy, how do you do that? How do you cultivate the new energy? Okay, this is how we used to do things and we're no longer doing that anymore and we're stepping into this new way of relating to each other. Okay, more of a letting go of the toxic patternings within the relationship dynamic and trying to understand that both people have needs that are needing to be met. You know, not just, there's not just one person in the relationship, there's two people. Both people have needs that need to be met and um, each person's needs are differently and how can both people see each other fully within their full essence with respect with with love and in order for that relationship to grow so there's a lot of different dynamics that you could be going through right now some like i said could be just ending something all together and some could just be stepping into the the new the newness of what is being called for you so you know the lots of that there's lots of that right now um so if it's your work you know, really step into that or, um, you know, what needs to change in the work dynamic and the work field. Uh, and if you're being asked to step into a new avenue of work, you know, we want to all take all of that into consideration. So I thought I would kind of recap on this particular subject.
on what needs to be released and let go of and how we go about this with the utmost respect and love for each other and you know ending things peacefully you don't want to end things in a bad note um, because we want good things to flow uh, and end things to flow in a, in a nice energetic form right <laughs> so if you end things abruptly with somebody or you just kind of cut them off that can cause you know, cause and effect you know the laws of the universe um, that can cause some some energies for you to have to deal with that are that are unnecessary so you know take everything with love and care and you know have respect for yourself have respect for others and um, you know so we're working in harmony with the universe with God and and things are so things can flow for everybody nicely all right thank you so much if you need to get a hold of me information is below thank you